Hey everybody, Carolina Gun Guy here. Today we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side test of the Norma MHP and the 9mm Interceptor from Ballistic Machinist. Here's a look at the two rounds side-by-side, -side, the MHP on the left and the Interceptor on the right. I believe the MHP is nickel coated, but they're both 100% copper rounds except for that nickel coating. Norma came out in 2019, and I believe it had the biggest expansion of any 9mm bullet up until 2022 when the Interceptor came out. The Norma is just under an inch, I believe about 0 .9, 0 0.95 inches, and the Interceptor is just over an inch. So I want to shoot both of them and compare the projectiles side by side to look at the expansion between them. Now when it comes to bullet weight, Norma is the winner. It comes in at 108 grains and it has a feet per second of about 1312. The Interceptor is a 90 grain projectile and just slightly faster from a 4.6 inch test barrel. I'm going to shoot each round through water. I'm going to use three gallons of water for each one. I like using water because it's cheaper and easier to obtain and use than ballistics gel. I understand ballistics gel is better to show the distance and how far it can penetrate, but water is easy. It makes the bullet expand like it's supposed to. I have a little bullet catch system right here with a level 2A plate in the back. Not a plate, but a soft armor panel. Uh, that soft armor panel was actually provided to the channel by Salem Lakes Armory. If you're not familiar with them, I'll put a link in the description. If you're looking for accessories for your Heritage Rough Rider, Salem Lakes is the place to go. They have a lot of cool things there. But let's go ahead and get to shooting and compare the projectiles side by side. I will be using the Palmetto State Armory Dagger for both tests, and I'll shoot from about seven yards back. I have the Norma MHP round loaded up first. Here we go. Go find that projectile. Our third jug of, wa of water made it out unscathed, and the projectile is right there in the bottom. So let me go ahead and dump this out. There it is. Not hot at all because it was cooling in the water. So let me go ahead and do the 9mm interceptor now. Okay, we have reset and I have a single interceptor round loaded up. Let's go. And one, two, and it looks like this interceptor must have stopped in the second bottle of water as well. And there it is. Go ahead and get that poured out. And there it is, again, not hot at all. Let me go ahead and get the ruler out and we can test the expansion on both of them. So here they are side by side. They both opened up as advertised and as they were supposed to. So let's go ahead and get the ruler out and test and see exactly how wide each one is. For the MHP, it looks like it's coming in just under an inch. Interceptor. The actual expansion is just over an inch. I would give it an inch and a sixteenth maybe. So you can see how they are side by side. Expansion wise, the Interceptor is going to win it. Um, I don't know. I think the Norma MHP is actually going to go further into ballistics gel. I think it goes around 10 and a half to 12 inches. And you're looking around 8 and a half to 10 inches for the Interceptor on the left. But there they are, guys. If you're wondering how these compare to each other, now you know. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.